Hello everyone. In this lecture, I am going to discuss free electron gas in metals and the Fermi Dirac distribution law of energy among electrons. As we all know that the electrons being half spin particles, they come under the category of fermions and their behavior can be studied using Fermi Dirac distribution law. The free electron model is the simplest way to represent the electronic structure of metals. As we can see in this diagram, in the first diagram, the positive ions in the metal are fixed at their positions and the valence electrons, they freely roam around in the metal and they, any electron, you can't say it is bound to this particular positive ion. Rather, they are moving as a group of particles and it is also called the sea of electrons in which the positive ions are immersed. This model was proposed by Dutch physicist Hendrik A. Lorentz which was later refined in 1928 by German scientist Arnold Sommerfeld. It is a great simplification of the reality considering the electrons moving like a sea of particles and the positive ions immersed in that. It is a very simplified approach, but it could describe some of very important features of metals, for example, the conductivity and electronic specific heat, and especially in case of the metals having very simple electronic configuration like sodium. First of all, let us understand what is free electron gas. Free means no force. Under this model, in this approach, it is considered that there are no interactions among the electrons and the ions in the matter, as well as there are no interactions among the electrons themselves. Now, that explains free. Now, the electron, electron is a half spin particle, which is a fermion. And it obeys Pauli's exclusion principle. Gas. As soon as the word gas comes to our mind, that means the molecules or the constituent particles, they are moving at very high speeds, randomly in all the directions. And they, in case of ideal gas, they do not exert any force. But in case of real gases, they interact via very weak forces. But here we are considering the electrons to be free and so gas means the electrons behave like a gas in case of conductors. And the only difference here is the major difference is that the electrons are charged particles but the molecules in any gas are not charged. So in any metal the positive ions are fixed at their positions and they are immersed in the sea of free electrons. This assembly of electrons in metals is called free electron gas. Now electrons being fermions, their behavior can be studied by applying Fermi-Dirac statistics. As per Fermi-Dirac statistics, the number of electrons having energies lying between the range u to u plus du can be given by the expression as shown in equation number 1. nu du is equal to gu du divided by e raised to power alpha e raised to power u over kt plus 1 where gu is the density of states e raised to power alpha is the reciprocal of degeneracy parameter which we have studied in our lecture on Fermi Dirac statistics. u is the average energy and k is the Boltzmann constant, t is the temperature of the electron gas. Now to derive the Fermi Dirac distribution law of energy of electrons in a metal we need to understand the term Fermi energy. 
As we know that fermions, electrons in the present case, they obey Pauli's exclusion principle. And in accordance with this principle, no two fermions can occupy the same quantum state. So this can be understood with the help of the diagram shown here. This can be understood in a very simplified manner by considering a system which is empty and at a temperature which is very close to absolute zero. Say we start filling the empty system with one electron at a time. The first electron will occupy the lowest energy level and rest of the electrons will consecutively fill up the higher energy levels one by one. The pairing of fermions or electrons is not allowed in any energy state. As shown in the first diagram, this is not allowed as per Pauli's exclusion principle. So filling of the electrons will take place as shown in the other two diagrams. The highest energy state occupied by an electron at absolute zero Kelvin is called Fermi energy level and the energy of that level is called Fermi energy or in other words we can say that at temperature zero Kelvin the kinetic energy of the electron occupying the highest energy state is called Fermi energy and here we are symbolizing it with UF. First of all, we are going to evaluate the Fermi energy UF in terms of parameter alpha and temperature T of the electron gas. As we know that the occupation index is the ratio of number of particles and the number of states available which is NU by GU. At temperature T equal to 0 Kelvin and for energy levels having their energies greater than the Fermi energy, the number of electrons will be 0 because the states are or the energy levels are empty. And it is so for all the energy levels which are lying above the Fermi energy level as shown in the diagram. And all the energy levels with their energies equal to or less than the Fermi energy will be occupied. Or we can say the occupation index for these energy levels will be 1 because there is one electron in one energy state. So the ratio of number of electrons to the number of states is 1 by 1 which is 1 but for all the energy levels which are lying above the Fermi energy level there are no electrons the energy levels are empty or we can say the occupation index is 0. Same can be understood with the help of a graph between energy U and the occupation index NU by GU. In this graph it is shown for two different temperatures one at absolute 0 Kelvin and second the temperatures above 0 Kelvin. For absolute 0 temperature the occupation index is 1 if the energy of the state is less than Fermi energy and the occupation index is 0 for the energy values greater than the Fermi energy. This point corresponds to Fermi energy. So it is shown with the help of the solid line and we can see a sharp cutoff at Fermi energy. The dotted curve shows the behavior or you, or you can say the variation of occupation index with energy of the state and we can see that for energies less than Fermi energy the occupation index is approaching 1 but as the energy goes beyond the Fermi energy the 
occupation index falls as per the curve shown here. Now by definition of Fermi energy level, the ratio of Nu over Gu is equal to 1 for the Fermi energy level at absolute 0 Kelvin. Let's again have a look at equation number 1 which gives us the expression for Nu du in terms of Gu du. So from this equation, we can write the expression for Nu divided by Gu. That will be Nu over Gu equal to 1 divided by e raised to power alpha, e raised to power u over kt plus 1. From equation 1, we get this expression. We have replaced u by uf because we have taken the occupation index corresponding to the Fermi energy level at absolute 0 Kelvin. So simplifying this expression, cross multiplying here and then simplifying further, we get alpha equal to minus uf divided by kt. Now again, going back to equation 1, using this expression for alpha, in equation 1, we get Nu du as Gu du divided by e raised to power u minus uf divided by kt plus 1. Also, we know the number of phase space cells in momentum interval P to P plus dp is given by gp dp equals to gs 4 pi v p square divided by h cube dp where v is the available volume p is the average momentum of the electrons here gs is equal to 2s plus 1 the spin degeneracy factor due to spin of the electrons and as we know the spin of electrons is half so we can evaluate gs so gs becomes 2 times half plus 1 equals to 2 in case of electron. Using this value of Gs in equation number 5, we get the expression for Gp dp as 8 pi v p square divided by h cube dp. For energy in terms of momentum is u equal to p square by 2m. Or we can say p square is equal to 2 times m u or p is equal to square root of 2 m u. Differentiating the expression for p square, we get 2 p dp equal to 2 m d u or dp is equal to m divided by p times d u. Now using the expression for p which is square root of 2 m u in the denominator, we get dp as m over square root of 2mu du or it is equal to square root of m divided by 2u du. Number of cells in the energy range u to u plus du or you can say the number of energy states in the given energy range becomes gu du. We are replacing the terms p square and dp in the expression for gp dp and we are writing that expression in terms of energy so gu du becomes 8 pi v over h cube 2 mu this is from p square and m over 2 u square root du Simplifying, we get GU DU as shown in equation number 8. Now, using equation number 8 in equation number 4 to find out the number of electrons having their energies lying in the range U to U plus DU, we get NU DU as 8 times square root of 2 pi V m raised to power 3 by 2 over h cube into u 
raised to power 1 by 2 divided by e raised to power u minus uf divided by kt plus 1. This expression shown in equation number 9 is the Fermi Dirac law for distribution of energy among free electrons in a metal.